Hello and thanks for joining me today. I'm introducing you to my new website, Ruth Hamilton Design, where I have got lots of lovely new digi images. So these are all things that I've drawn over this past little while and my son has worked really, really hard to get this website ready and now I'm sharing it with you today. So I'll have the links all down below but here I'm, I'm going to show you some of the images that are on it. They're uh, digital as I said, not physical stamps but digital images that you can download and then you can colour them and use them on your craft projects, your cards and journaling or whatever. So I hope you really like them. I love drawing flowers and animals and things and hopefully you'll enjoy that too. Um, quite a lot of my colouring has been done with um, alcohol markers but uh, there'll be some water colouring and all sorts of things but what I really want is for people to enjoy colouring them and not get too stressed out about how careful they are or whatever. Just enjoy the process and have fun and most of all just relax and enjoy your crafting. So with all that said and done, um, these are some of the images here. Lots of them are already made up into cards and some of them as you can see I have just printed out, coloured and fussy cut. Um, fussy cutting is very very therapeutic after colouring so um, that's how I've done most of these, printed some of them out and coloured them, put them straight onto cards, layered them or whatever, and others I have fussy cut and put onto different backgrounds. There'll be lots of videos coming soon. Uh, I've got quite a few of them ready and um, just needing edited to show you how I've coloured them in. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the way you've got to colour them in, but it's just to give you a few ideas. Um, people have been asking already, um, just for some pointers as to how they should shade and colour the things in but um, so I'm going to share that with you as well. So for for example these images are all printed, coloured and used in cards and then uh, we've done some I've done some different things like printed this one out. This one's called Bunny and Basket and it's a really cute little image and then I've got this one which is a pop of colour spray which is quite a stylized um, set of flowers here. And you can do different things with these as well. I have printed both of these out. Uh, then I have cut the little bunny's head off the third one um, here. I'm going to use that on a different card, maybe poking out from an aperture or whatever. But then I've printed this again, coloured it and added it on top of the basket. So you've got a, uh, another idea. And as you can see, I haven't uh, glued it down firmly so you can just see how it's done there. But uh, the basket down first and then this pop of colour. So with two different images. You can use it this way, this way, or make totally different cards with them. So you can do that with quite a few of them. Then uh, obviously one of the major benefits of having digital images is that you can print them out to whatever size you want. So they're perfect for making matching tags and then cards or whatever as well. So you've got a small image on a tag. Like what I've done here with the pansy image. Now these ones obviously don't match but I'm just showing you for example. So we've got um, the pansies done here on a card in a bigger size. And then uh, here's another one. So obviously you can think of all different colours here. Um, these nice red ones with a bit of yellow around. And then smaller again in the tag. So just, just whatever you like. I've got lots of them built up here. Um, there's another cute little image here which is a, a little duckling. So that's it just printed quite small. Lots of these are still to be used on cards and things yet, but um, I'll show all, all of these as I work my way through them. So I've done that, and then here's one with, I don't know whether you can see that or not, but there's quite a bit of glitter on there. Um, this one has just been cut out and put onto some checked paper. And then obviously the duckling doesn't need to stay this colour because we've got um, another one here, which I've done lots of flicks and whatnot with pro markers on just to get this lovely um, feathered effect on there as well. And then I will be doing lots of videos to show simple ideas for cards. So just maybe, um, well this, this one's in the process at the minute so it's A4 and just with several different folds on it. Um, and then you end up with a little shaped card there too. So it's very easy and you can use your stamp, your um, digital image on that as well. So thanks very much for joining me. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Obviously go over and have a look at the website too. I'd love you to do that. Hopefully you'll like some of them and buy them and use them. And then I'd really love you to let me see what you've done with them as well. Um, and I'll be back very soon with lots more videos. And in the meantime, keep very safe and very well. 
and thanks again. Bye-bye.